sure we... Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Yamakishi, is he alright? What happened? Everything disappeared after being covered in that light. I don't sense anything now. Don't tell me he... What the hell are you saying? That's impossible! Try again! He can't be the only one! <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it! Not again! We put our lives on the line just like he did. In fact, we came here expecting to die. So why only him? Why am I so powerless? Am I really unable to protect the ones important to me? This is what I was trying to prevent. You're out there, aren't you? I know you are. I refuse to believe that you're gone. Answer me! I know you're listening. We're here. Say something, please! Don't worry. That voice. I will sleep once again. Peace will return to this universe. For you. And for him. <gasps> He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question. I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. Your life too is precious, irreplaceable. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again someday. Now we're... How did we end up back... Hey! Look over there! Whoa, uh, what's up with Tartarus? Happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. Wait, is that? See you again. Guys, come on. This isn't the time to be crying. <laughs> You're crying too, Sonata san. Finally, the team's all here. What? Leader. Huh? I'm. Oh no. They won't stop. What's wrong with me?
Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Think so? Looking at the current third years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name, then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh, yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirito Senpai's getting ready to move, too. Rijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man. You really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, Dad, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. <laughs> well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Ah, oh, crap! Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go? In your TV? 
Tanaka's commodities! Everybody's ultimate friend in greed! Hi, everyone! Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round! Rain or shine! We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods! Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution! Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds! And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy! We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world! That's the Amazing Commodities Guarantee! We look forward to your business! Oh, he, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities. Here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Duh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him, who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism, should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that amazing commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city.
The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Am I forgetting something? Hmm? It's not a senpai. What are you doing? Gurumaru! <laughs> but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. <laughs> I promise. Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Noticing the beauty of spring, it's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side, we faced the world's end, and now I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters. And find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. 
Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to me. It's good. I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. You must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us.